Today we're going to do a wall handstand. First thing, we need a pillow. And we need an empty space. Up. And make sure no one is, people is around you. So they won't get hurt. So it will take a couple of days to do it. But keep practicing. So, first step. You know, so there's this line. Press it. it if you can't see it, press the pillow to the wall and do that. Then you could see the line. So put your head on the line like this. So, after you put it in like that, so I already know it. So, yeah. So then push and be like that. First step, if you want to do it, you need confidence. If you have confidence, you could do anything. So, so just do this for learners and push and try it to push how hard you can, like high. Push it very, very high and you'll get it. You may touch the wall like this, this and fall down. That happens because you don't have confidence. So when I was trying this the first time, I touched the wall, but I felt, came back down because I was a little scared. I didn't have confidence, but now I do. So now I know this. So if you do it a lot, then you'll get the use of it. So you won't forget it ever. You could do it everywhere with an open space. So for learners, I told you this already. Just do that. Push, push, and try to put your or like your legs up. So the first thing, if you want to do it, you should know a normal plain handstand like this. Sometimes I don't do it correct, but sometimes I do. So you, if you know a handstand, you could also do this. Like there's two ways to do it. First step, you could do a handstand, I do it. It's been a long time since I did it. So it's like that, that's a handstand way. The second way is to do it like this. If you're scared, just lean down and push. That are two ways. So if you're very scared, let's just do it like this. First do that and hop a little by little by little by little. And when you jump a little high, then jump maximum. So yeah, so like that. So I 